praise God, YouTube Christians, let's go. Listen, I'm on my study for my next live. I told you last night on the live, and I got a final puzzle piece to one of the rapture puzzles. Got a revelation. Praise the Lord. Let's go. Isaiah 42, 9. Watch the progression of this. This will bless your heart. Now, this mostly is for the people that have already been studying with me, but I think you'll be able to understand it right here because I've I've done bits and pieces of this throughout, and now it all came together. I figured out the progression, the, the order of things. That's where I got the revelation. Isaiah 42, 9. God speaking words in red. Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Okay? Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Isaiah 42, 9. This is Isaiah 43, 19. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? When it springs forth, shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. So there's the spring forth. There's the rapture. Everybody will know it. And God even throws in, I'll make a way in the wilderness, rivers in the desert, meaning he will make a way for the remnant after the rapture, right away, take care of them in the wilderness. <clears throat> Pure gold. Isaiah 61, 11. I am telling you, this is something to be excited about. Isaiah 61, 11. For as the earth brings forth her bud, as the earth, and as the garden causes the things that are sown in it to spring forth, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth before all nations. I'm going to do a new thing. I'll tell you about it before I do it. The next one is, when I do it, you'll know about it, and I'll make a way in the wilderness for the remnant. This one says, just like something that's planted in the garden springs forth, I will cause righteousness and, and praise, because we go up there to praise God. All we bring to the table as Christians in the rapture is thanksgiving, praise to God. That's all we bring. <laughs> this is amazing. So the Lord God will cause righteousness. We're righteousness because of Christ. We're clothed in it. Will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth before all nations. What's he talking about? That's the rapture. All right. That's Isaiah 61 11. Isaiah 66 9. Look at the progression. Shall I bring, shall I bring to the birth and not cause to bring forth, spring forth, shoot forth? This is amazing. Shall I bring to the birth and not cause to bring forth, says the Lord? Shall I cause to bring forth and shut the womb, says your God? The rapture's coming. He's not going to bring us right to the, the entrance and shut the womb. We will be born. Praise God, it's coming. Now look at this. Here's the revelation. And listen, I say that the people that I've been studying with for a year and a half because we have studied this word shooteth forth forever. Luke 21, Jesus said, and he spoke to them a parable, behold the fig tree and all the trees. When they now shoot forth, you see and know of your own selves that summer is now near at hand. So likewise, when you see these things come to pass, know you that the kingdom of God is near at hand. Okay, so 
Behold the fig tree and all the trees when it now shoots forth. This is a dual prophecy. So 1948, Israel came back to the land. This is how we study shooteth forth. When did it shoot forth? We figured it out because of 1949, Psalm 49, they won the war, they formed a government, they were entered into the United Nations. We figured out the shooteth forth is 1949. That's when the fig tree generation started. But here's the revelation. And, and, and it never made sense before until now. So Jesus said, so forget that part now. We just read all the Isaiahs. I'm going to cause it to spring forth before all nations, and you will know it. The rapture. Everybody's going to know the rapture. Something huge just happened. So now let's read it in that context, the dual part of the fulfillment. When they now shoot forth the rapture, so not the start of the fig tree. It means that, but it means the rapture. When it not when when they us when they now shoot forth. Man, I miss the they. I even miss the they, meaning people. When they now shoot forth, you see and know of your own selves that summer is now near at hand. Summer is only used three times in the three Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke. The word is numbered 2330. The word summer means heat. That's literally what it means. Heat, as in tribulation. When's the tribulation going to be? It's going to be in 2023 when we're raptured next week to 2030. So listen, I wasn't a big person on chapter numbers, verse numbers, concordance numbers until I studied it and looked into it. So you got to get over that. This is the eternal word of God. So he's going to be in every detail of everything. So I am 100% convinced that God is in the chapter numbers, the verses, the concordance numbers. You got to believe that because it's all there. Okay. When they now shoot forth, when we're raptured, you see and know of your own selves that summer 2320 heat is now near at hand. So if we're raptured on 9-11, now they know the tribulation is near. Just a couple days away, starting on the Feast of Trumpets. Okay? Verse 31, here's the revelation. So likewise you, when you see these things come to pass. What come to pass? The shooteth forth, the rapture, summer, the heat, the tribulation, 2330. That's the word, three times, three gospels, 2330. That's the whole tribulation from 2023 to 2030. When the rapture and that comes to pass, look what it says. Know you that the kingdom of God is near at hand. Do you see that? So rapture, tribulation, the kingdom of God, the millennial reign. Because other than that, it didn't make any sense. On the surface, we had to figure out when the fig tree started, 1949. But how can Jesus jump right to the millennial kingdom? Because shooteth forth, you still got to have a rapture. You got to have a tribulation. It was all right there the whole time. Now that makes sense. Again, so likewise, you, when you see these things come to pass, the rapture come to pass, the tribulation gets started, comes to pass, you know, know you that the kingdom of God is near at hand. So after the rapture, into the tribulation, the, the Jews been waiting for the kingdom of God for a long time. Jesus said it's now near. So all those Isaiah verses I read, I'll tell you, I'll tell you before I shoot forth, it shall shoot forth, I'll make a way in the wilderness. 
when it shoots forth, righteousness and praise will shoot forth from the earth like a garden, summer fruit, and all the nations will see it. This is pure and utter gold. Praise God. Let me make sure I got it all in there. Summer, three times, 2330. And here's the kicker. I kept saying, when the Revelation 12 sign hit, a sign means a warning of something to come. So I said, Lord, is it going to be a one-year warning, two-year warning, a three-year warning, four-year warning, five-year warning? You know, how long is this going to be from the Revelation 12 sign in 2017? Well, turns out it's a six-year warning. So we labor for six years. We rest on the seventh year. Praise God. Look at this. And listen, I'm going to give you, I'm going to look up two verses and close this video. Exodus 21.2, Exodus 23.10, Deuteronomy 15.12 and 18, Leviticus 25 verse 3. I'm going to read Exodus 21.2. If you buy a Hebrew servant, slave, six years he shall serve, and in the seventh he shall go out free for nothing. He doesn't have to pay. He's free on the seventh year. This is a Hebrew slave. We're bond slaves of Christ. So when the Revelation 12 sign hit in 2017, we labored... For six years, witnessing to people, hey, something big just happened, the rapture's coming, and we tried to figure it out for six years. We labored to search for the date, and we labored to bring people into the kingdom. This is amazing. Look at Exodus 23.10. And six years you shall sow your land and shall gather in the fruits thereof. So six years we're sowing in the land and then we gather the fruit. So we rest in the seventh year with our fruit. God's going to gather us. We are the summer fruit. Amos 1, 8, 1 and 2. Micah 7, 1 and 2. Praise God. Elul 25 on God's calendar is our 9-11. I'm telling you, that was like the last little piece of the puzzle. Praise God. All glory to God. Let's go.